Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Sounds of this hill farm. And the bass, it's just so odd. You just sit here and you just listen. So weird. All right. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flicker Foo. And today, we're just out taking our beaver for a walk. That's right. Be that. Come on. Every beaver needs a walk. They can go out in the woods. They can go do their little thing. You know, they can do their little poo-poo over there. They can harvest some trees. They can get some berries. You know, all sorts of cool stuff. All right, so anyway, yeah. Um, now that we've taken the beaver for a walk, we're going to take the beaver right over here because we've got something kind of special planned for today. Um, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be working on custom recipes. And I actually, throughout the entire season four of my uh, Soling the Ark series, I've been using a couple uh, um, special recipes that I have specifically designed. This right here gives me 98 water. So one of these things right here fills me up with water. It's absolutely amazing. It heals me uh, um, 44 health, gives me a little boost in stamina whenever I want it. I mean, it's not like, you know, night and day difference, but it's pretty dang cool. It works out really well. Now, here's my food that does pretty much almost the exact same. Only one food gives me full food. It's pretty cool. Now, I um, designed these. Um, these right here are the uh, recipes to make them. And I'll mouse over them both so where you guys know exactly how to make the same food that I have. But um, we're also going to, going to be discussing how to make this food ourselves today. All right. So first things, first things, first things first that you need is you need um, some eggs. Some eggs that you can uh, replenish quite easily. You also need uh, lots of berries, uh, access to vegetables. Honey doesn't hurt, but then again, when it comes around to making these special recipes, you don't want it to be something extravagant that you have to farm up, you know, for a day just where so you can do one batch of this recipe that'll last you, you know, maybe a week. You don't want that. You want um, kind of a uh, recipe that will uh, heal you, will uh, um, fill you up, give you full um, food or water, and then also it'll boost your stamina so where when you're uh, running for your life and you need that little extra kick, it'll do it. Yeah, and so, like I said, you don't want to have, you know, say like six giga eggs, four quetzal eggs, uh, ten honey, and three uh, um, sweet veggie cakes per item. You just don't want that. And besides, when it comes around to certain eggs, some some eggs will actually give you less food if you put them in a custom recipe than if you uh, put them into a regular recipe. Things like uh, Giga eggs, Quetzal eggs, um, all all the big eggs. I think Rex eggs is on there as well. And yeah, you just don't want to use those eggs for uh, crafting up custom recipes. Stick to things like Dodo eggs, um, the easy to get ones, Dillo eggs. And uh, maybe even trike eggs, if you have access to a lot of trikes. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't think I would do trike eggs, but, I mean, if just the smaller dinos is what I'm trying to get at here. Parasaur eggs, maybe. Um, things like that. I prefer uh, to use dodo, e yeah, dodo eggs if I'm going to use any eggs in these custom recipes. All right, so now to start off, what we're going to be doing... Oh, I thought I started out with it in my inventory. Hold on. No, I obviously did not. We're going to be using a mind wipe tonic, right? And also we're going to be grabbing one of these focal chili because these things right here, um, when you're making the uh, um, custom recipes, you need crafting skill. You need a lot of crafting skill. And then we're going to be discussing a little bit more in crafting skill in this episode about what it does to uh, um, your certain recipes and stuff like that that you're doing. All right, so let's start off, and I'm going to encumber myself quite dramatically here. Um, here, hold on. Uh, let me dump off some of this stuff here because I, I, I generally tend to carry around a lot of weight. Oreo, what do you have in you? A whole lot of nothing. That can that whole lot of nothing can just go, and then we will transfer all this stuff over to you. Oh, give me that back. I need the fiber. Thank you. And then... You know, I'm just going to keep that 
Thank you. Just in case some bad things decide to come out of the woodwork and eat my face. Thanks, Oreo. All right, so now let's head over uh, here. And let's pop right down in front of here because this right here is what we're going to be using to uh, make our uh, recipes. And you'll notice that the Easter event is going on in here. Just pay no attention to that, all right? Easter event, yeah. Okay. So, um, whoop, wrong button. All right, so now what we need is we need these things. So we're going to pop those in there and keep them just like that. And we're going to make sure that we've got a whole bunch of berries already loaded up onto our beaver or whatever kind of dino that you use to gather your uh, um, berries. And we're just going to throw away all the seeds because right now they're actually just going to be kind of getting in the way. All right. But you can also make all sorts of different recipes. You can get recipes that will uh, give you increased stamina by adding stem berries. You can get stuff that uh, gives you increased uh um increased health all sorts of different ways um i would encourage people to uh um, experiment with whatever kind of thing that you want and find out whichever ones give you the best stuff for your play style now my play style is i just don't want to be bothered with with having to eat and carry around a ton of food and since this stuff right here one uh these you're in the way. Thank you. Uh, one of these foods give me just complete health and uh, water. Here, let me show you. Bam, bam. And they'll slowly go up. Um, I don't really need anything else. So if we take all the vegetables that we just got and we grab, say, like a stack of this, stack of this, stack of this. Uh, maybe even stack of narco berries. I really would not encourage you to use narco berries in these. Um, I have actually come up with different recipes that will kill you. Uh, yeah, um, one one of these things, it, it just works like polymer. It's pretty cool. All right, um, and then from here, we're going to go... Let's see, where is my cooked meat? Vegetables. Cooked meat. Cooked meat is always a good thing to add into this. Take that up. there. You can also use the cooked fish meat. You can use cooked mutton if you want, which is great. Um, I mean, after after a while, cooked lamb chops super easy to obtain, especially on the island and stuff like that. It's really really easy. Um, and then you can also use cooked prime meat, but I would recommend steering away from cooked prime meat. It can be a bit more of a pain in the butt. Alright, I know I left my dodo kibble around here somewhere. My dodo egg around here somewhere. Okay, well I've got a ton of dodo kibble, but we're not we're not gonna be using that. Let's grab some of this. Um, let's try not to over encumber ourselves. But also, if you have access to uh, while you're doing these recipes, if you have access to uh, um, oh the aberration uh, mushrooms, those ones right there actually give you some really really good benefits. Uh, so do uh, rare mushrooms, rare flowers. Uh, yeah, they actually give some pretty good stuff. It, it's not bad. Um, let's see. I don't know where all my rare mushrooms are. But you know what? We'll, we will do this without... Oh, I have a stray therazina. Look at that. All right, give me. Thank you. All right, um, hey, can you hold on to my... Actually, you know what? You know, yeah, you just hold on to it. There you go. There you go. You're also designated egg holder. All right, happy Easter. All right, so uh, let's uh, take this. Now, what we first do is we take and we make a note. And now, notes are actually really simple. Uh, they're right here in your... You, this is like the only recipe that you start off with. Let's just make a whole ton of these. Cancel the text on all those because we don't need the text on any of those. All right. So now we've got four notes plus one already in there. So now what we do is get rid of that. Inventory. All right, so now we start kind of experimenting, but before we do that, there we go. We eat a mind wipe tonic. All right, so now we've got a whole ton of crafting skill and hey, how much weight? Oh, we've got 230 weight. All right, well, let me get my weight up just a little bit so I can actually move for demonstration purposes. And then the rest of it, all of it into crafting skill. There we go. All right, so now we've got this massive amount of crafting skill, but you can also boost the crafting skill and make even better recipes as you're doing this, and that is with focal chili. Bam! All right, so now we've got this focal chili going on, which increases your crafting speed, 
And then now we can start really experimenting. So let's start off with going, say, like one of these, uh, one of these, uh, one of these, one of each veggie, five of that berry, and let's go with five stem berries so where it can actually uh, boost up our uh, um, our stamina gain. And then you know what? Uh, let's see. Let's make make recipe. And then as soon as you click make recipe, um, down in the middle, you get this little screen that pops up, and you can pick all sorts of different uh, um, oh designs. And you can up top, you can pick whether it's food or it's drink. And then if it's food, all it's going to do is fill food. If you go with drink, it's only going to fill water. So be very careful on that because I've actually spent you know hours experimenting, going, why isn't this uh, raising my water? It's because it's not going to. It's just not going to. And then you can also designate the color regions, all sorts of cool stuff. And then you get to name your recipe. We're going to call this one Test 1. There we go. And so it's going to be a little bit of blue, everything like that. Make recipe. It's going to uh, mark all the stuff that's in there. Bam. All right. So now we've got this recipe right here, and it's going to tell us exactly what it does. Now, this right here is only going to give us 50 food. 57 stamina, which is quite amazing, and 26 health, which means if we want it to actually get where we want it to be, we're going to actually have to start adding a few different things. So let's toss... Actually, you know what? We'll keep all the experiments that we do. All right, so let's add five meat. Where did that meat go? Oh, there we go. All right, five meat to the um, pot. And then, so that right there should give us a little bit more. But I also want a little bit more stamina. So let's go with a little bit more of those. Make recipe. Now we've got a yellow burger. And we're going to call this one. Test 1.1. Make recipe. All right, so now this new recipe. Oh, this new recipe is amazing. This one right here, um, because we added the meat and the extra stem berries, it gives us a ton more stamina plus 144 food, and then also uh, 74 health. Okay, we don't need that much uh, um, food on there, so I'm going to see if I can lower that one down a little bit by removing the carrot and there. Go like that, make recipe. No, no, no. Go. Go with pink. Now, also, you need to make sure that your uh, potatoes and your uh, lemons and stuff aren't going to spoil while you're doing this recipe. Okay, so there, right there, we actually lowered it down a little bit. I mean, the health gain, we lowered down quite considerably, which kind of sucks. But the uh, um, the food, we lowered down a little bit. And this right here is a lot easier to manage. It's just five Amar berries, one citronol, one Savaroot, root, five cooked meat, and ten stim berries. So this right here, it's kind of where I want it. This is a good recipe right here. All right, so test 1.2. All right, so now if we're also going to uh, be doing, oh, uh, water and stuff, um, let you know what? Also, I wanted to make a couple more really quick before we jump into the water. Sorry about that. I know I'm kind of going off on this a little bit, but I, I get, you know, a little bit really excited when I'm doing these because I like... There we go. Okay, it's just not updating as I put it in. So, but what I was saying earlier, you got to make sure these things right here don't spoil while they're in there. So, I just make sure I put two in there. If it's going to spoil, because I know these ones are going to spoil. All right, so let's take, uh, let's, let's go with one dodo. Let's go two cooked meat, uh, ten stem berries, and ten measure berries. And let's see where it's at with that. Let's take this, pop that in there. Uh, bam. Let's go with, you know, we'll have a black burger on this one. I like, because this one right here is, should be pretty good. And what are we on? 1.3? There we go. Make recipe. Let's see what this one comes up with. Wow. This one is a little bit overkill. I don't think we need that much. But it gives us, compared to this one, a lot more food, a lot more stamina, and... Quite considerably more health. I think this one right here would probably be the one that I would want to go with. Um, but let's see. Let's try to minimize this down. Let's remove those. Um, you know, that carrot's going to spoil. But that... It's not updating. There we go. 
Okay, so let's put that in there. So we've got one, 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 two, five, ten. Make recipe. All right, let's go with the blue burger this time. Make recipe. Wow, this one, super easy to make. And this gives us everything we completely need. Plus, it gives us a huge stamina boost for whenever we want it. It will completely overdo uh, any food that you uh, could lose. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Now, also, one thing that you need to uh, know is when you are... After you get done making these recipes, you can completely respec out of this. You don't have to keep this crafting skill because as long as you have this recipe already crafted, you're never gonna, it, it never uh, worries about your crafting skill. It's only when you're crafting the recipe itself do you actually need the crafting skill. You can completely respec away from crafting skill after this stuff is, uh, after you're done making it. So yeah, um, when you're uh, making the recipe, Full crafting skill. After you're done making the recipe, you can completely switch off crafting skill and it doesn't matter anymore. All right. So, um, let's see. Let's... I want to get this down just a little bit further. We've got that. Let's see. Make note. Go with... 10 of these. Cancel all these out. Come on. Cancel out. There we go. All right, so now we've got that. I want to... I want to make recipe with this, with just this amount. You know what? Let's take all these out. Let's put in just two of these. Two measure berries. And I like the stem berries in there. I like a lot of stem berries in there. So where it pumps that up. Let's go with the red burger. This is test 1.5. Let's try that one. Now, this one right here is even better. That right there is super amazing. All right, so now, when you're crafting this one, all you have to do is go like this. Take all these out. All right, come over here to this. You can actually just craft it inside here. Well, matter of fact, I probably should have done that. So let's take that, put that in there. Uh, let's put in some meat. Put in, let's see, what did we, all do we use? A whole stack of citronol. All right, uh, dodo eggs, uh, measure berries, rock carrots, and stem berries. All right. All right, now all we have to do, come up here to this, grab all of these. Apparently, they're not transferring. There we go. All right, something's a little bit buggy right now in my single player game. Put all these in there, and you put a stack of thatch in there. And you light fire. And see, it'll just slowly cook. Oh, and this right here doesn't even take water, which is awesome. Oh, because it's just a cook meat. All right. And it'll just keep cooking. Oh, just a whole ton of these. And also notice that the spoil timer on these things is so much greater than uh, regular cooked meat. See, look at that. 19 minutes. Bam. Three and a half days. That's amazing. Actually, this one's four days. Right at the right at four days. This is good stuff. All right. So now let's also start experimenting a little bit with the uh, um, oh with the liquid recipes. All right. Let's see. Let's uh, take that. Let's put that in there, and then let's. Uh, Let's, let's go with kind of exactly the same. So where we don't have to go farm a whole ton of stuff. Let's see. One of those. Uh, two of those. Oh, we used to polish stem berries. Hey, uh, I need more stem berries, B. All right. Bam. The stem... Oh, no, I don't need that many. Sorry. Go with that. And then, let's see. Which one did we use? Citronol. Okay, there we go. All right, let's include another dodo egg just in case. Uh, I just want to see what this one turns up. 
And then also measure berries. Only two. We don't want to go with a bunch of these. Take that. Pop that in there. Oh, what? We already have it. Uh, let's see. Um, is that everything? Make sure. Yep, that's everything. All right, make recipe. And then up here, we're going to click on the drink. So we're just going to go with this standard one. Let's go with... Let, let's make a green drink. And we'll call this test... Since we're on a... Uh, since we're going with water instead of food, we're just going to be test two. And then we'll start going up that way. All right, so bam. Let's see. What does test two make? All right, this one right here actually drains your water. We don't want that. Um, see how it says uh, up there it's uh, minus 110 water? We totally do not want that, which means we need to take these stem berries out of the mix. All right, now let's take that, put that in there. Oh, and it's, it's just totally not updating. Okay, there we go. Buggy! All right, so let's take that, put that in there. And for now, let's actually add a few more measure berries to the mix. And let's call it, let's just see what we can do with this. Bam. Make recipe. Water. Blue. Test 2.1. Bam. All right, so test 2.1. Now we're actually gaining water instead of losing water. We're gaining health, plus we're gaining stamina. This is another good recipe. Yeah. All right, so now, um, after we've done that, and we've finally got the recipes, the total recipes that we want. Let, let me grab the rest of these. Where are you? Toto! Is that it? I, I, gosh, I, I shouldn't have cooked all my dodo eggs. All right, uh, so now all we do is take this. Pull this stuff out of here. Uh, let's see. Let's take test that one right there. Put that in there. And that is citronol, rock carrot. <sighs> see, it has cooked meat. We're, we're slurping our meat. We're making a meat milkshake here. Put that in there. Marberries. Azul berry. Oh, no. That's the wrong one. Wrong one! That one, bam. All right, now we need dodo eggs. Bam, put that in there. Now we need some gasoline. Where's the gas? All right. Uh, you guys are in the way. I'm getting stuck on you. Gosh. All right, and then you pop over here. Pop that in there. Turn this on. And see just how quickly this stuff makes it. You don't have to refill um, the water or anything like that. Now we've already got 11 of those. What are we missing? Uh, let's see. Oh, we're missing cooked meat. So let's just pop that in there and just let it keep going. And this right here will eventually... Oh, we're missing water and measure break. Now we just have to wait for it to refill. <laughs> yeah, slowly, slowly, slowly refilling. That's unfortunate, but still, um, yeah, you can quickly make up just a whole ton of these. Plus, you can also use um, the regular one that we got. Let's see, this one right here, which is absolutely amazing. Put that in there. And this one right here, we need stem berries. Bam. And, of course, we're out of measure berries. Pop this over here. Take all those, take all those. And we're going to run out of dodo eggs here soon. I think we totally did. Yep, we ran out of dodo eggs. But that's how you do custom recipes. Now, you can make these things to be just absolutely amazing. You can go with uh, high food, high water. Um, you can go with high health, high stamina. Um, all it does, it really, when creating custom recipes, all it does, um, it kind of fine tunes your play experience, your play style. Do you want to have extra health? Do you want to um, have um, extra water? Do you want to have that massive stamina boost as you're doing it? To me, the stamina boost and the um, the the hundred water are the most important ones. Health, yeah, health is kind of a health, health is kind of helpful, but my whole play style is just don't get hit. So yeah, um, if I'm getting hit, I'm doing something wrong, which means that I generally don't have to do the heal thing as much. But now that we've got this health. Um, buff on our uh, um, food, it's not going to be that big of a problem at all. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Plus, this food will last us for just so long, especially in solo player. On regular servers, it'll still last you a long, long time. All right. But now that we've got that going, now we're going to discuss um, custom recipes while we have the uh, 
um, all of our crafting skill in order. Because now, um, let's see, this right here, the uh, um, blueprints. Because this is the only thing that crafting skill um, oh uh, changes other than the regular... Other than making these craft custom recipes, making these um, looted blueprints is the only other thing that crafting skill does. It doesn't, uh, if you just go up here and you craft, say, like, a tech saddle right here, craft that thing right there, it'll always be 45 armor for the exact same ingredients. It'll always be uh, just exactly like that. Crafting skill doesn't change it. But... Um, if you have, say, like this Allosaurus saddle right here, or this Rex saddle right here, and we were to craft this, while, uh, um, while we have this increased buff, plus also with the Focal Chili, you can get these, these guys' armor. See, this right here is a 75 armor. You can actually get them up over 100 armor. Yeah, it, it's, it's wicked cool. So while you have this, uh, um, crafting buff going on and you have yourself respect into this, I would completely encourage you to make up all the different, uh, looted blueprints that you've got. And that, I um, mean, that, it doesn't just go for saddle blueprints. It also goes for long neck blueprints, all sorts of stuff. Let's see, is this... I've got blueprints. Oh, never mind. They're over on this side. All right, give it, come here, come here, come here. Right here, over inside of here. All of this stuff that has, if it has a stat on it, it'll change it. The crafting skill will. Um, the stuff like the, um, oh, the blueprints, the structures for everything, it won't change those at all because they really don't have a stat on here. But um, once you do craft, they do have a, a structure stat, but it doesn't change that. Um, the uh, the saddle stats and the uh, um, the weapon stats, it totally changes those. It's really really amazing. Let's see, um, you know what, I think we actually have enough to do a demonstration on this one, or... Actually, you know what, it'll be better to do a demonstration on this. Alright, let's go grab a focal chili here really quick. Let's go pop this one down over in here. Alright, put that in there. Do we have everything in here? Pretty sure we do. We do, alright, so turn that on. Alright, so now this right here is with... 940 crafting skill. Craft that thing. Now you see that the blueprint is for 139.5 um, weapon damage, 99 durability. The one we crafted with the increased crafting skill is 145.6 weapon damage, 109 durability. It does make quite a bit of difference. All right, now let's eat this focal chili. And let's do the exact same. Alright, so now that we ate the, in the focal chili, instead of the 145.6, 109 durability, now we have 155.6, 124 durability. So yes, always, always, always use focal chili while you're crafting these things. It is amazing. See how the, much the focal chili boosted us? It went from 15.6 percent um, crafting skill to 40.9 all right let's turn that sucker off really quick let's go in here and then we're going to discuss how to make the focal chili but also with the new uh kibble with the new kibble bits uh, making the focal chili is kind of a uh, necessity so what we need is uh to make the focal chili it's measure berries tinto berries amar berries nine cooked meat citronol and uh azul berries that's it it's really 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 simple to make this stuff yeah, and I would encourage you to make up a whole ton of it, put it inside your, uh, um, oh, inside your refrigerators, and just let it sit. Whenever you've got, you know, all the extra resources right there that you need, whip up a ton of this focal chili. Now, you can make the focal chili in either, um, this, in either a cooking pot, or you could also make it in the industrial cooker. Yeah. All right, just remember that, um, it also takes water. All those recipes right there take water. You have to submerge them in water. All right, so let's take this. Um, let's, uh, let's see. I'll, I will worry about organizing this stuff off camera. But yeah, whew. Crafting skill. Sometimes it feels like I'm reading off stereo instructions, but you know what? It, if you uh, can work at it, you can get this stuff going. You can make some really, really good recipes. All right, so hey, I hope the video helped you out. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody.